the Waffen-SS was the first military organization in the world to use camouflage clothing. They had pioneered camouflage smocks and helmet covers in distinctive spotted patterns in the late 1930s and made wide use of a variety of season patterns and colors. Camouflage smocks were designed to be reversible, providing camouflage for two seasons, whether summer and autumn or summer and winter. The patterns were designed by a Munich art professor and then the director of the German Camouflage Research Unit. The Waffen-SS camouflage development truly blossomed as a science and an art. Insignia were not supposed to be worn on camouflage uniforms, but this regulation was widely ignored. When the Waffen-SS were developing camouflage clothing in the late 1930s, one of the most interesting items produced was a face veil. This contained knotted and colored cords to hang from the M1935 helmet. According to the original plan, not only snipers, but all Waffen-SS infantry soldiers would have been equipped with the face veil. Tests with this unique camouflage mask began in December of 1936. Originally, the face mask was called Gesichtstarnung or face camouflage. In 1938, it was referred to as Gesichtsschleier or face veil. Then, in 1940, the term camouflage veil or Tarnschleier was applied before its final label as Gesichtstarnmaske or camouflage face mask appeared in 1942. The production was more or less discontinued when soldiers discovered that while it was efficient in concealing the face, a vulnerable body part in combat, it also restricted their vision and hindered their ability to fully engage in combat, especially when moving. So the face veil was officially rejected by the Waffen-SS in 1940, although a lot of soldiers were equipped with it. But those that had been produced proved to be very popular, especially with snipers. In the absence of an official face camouflage, some units and many individuals fabricated their own face masks. These usually lacked the strip of camouflaged cloth covering the mouth and were simply thin in place rather than using an elasticated retaining band. During the war itself, face masks were improvised at unit level from whatever camouflage fabric was available. Most often it was made of a Zeldbahn part. Zeldbahn or shelter half was a rectangular, triangular or diamond-shaped impregnated tarpaulin that is stretched out to protect the soldiers from the weather when they were outdoors. It could also be worn as a cover like a rain cape. The base side length was 2.5 meters and the weight was approximately 1 kilogram when dry. The Zeldbahn was introduced in the 1930s and was used by the German army during the entire war. They were used also by all branches of the army, not only by the Waffen-SS. <laughs>